Hi everyone, it's Eli from TutorialEdge.net and in this video we are going to be covering the topic of test main and how you can use that to improve the way that you set up tests within your Go applications. Cool, so let's dive right into it. Now in this example we have used the RESTy client in order to send a get HTTP request to HTTP bin slash get and then we're doing some assertions that we're not getting an error and that the status code is 200. Now, nothing too complex, I'm sure you'll agree. However, we could improve this slightly, and that is by removing some of the setup code for this test, such that the test itself is purely focused on the logic around testing and not so much on setup. So let's see about using the test main function here. So we can define test main, and this will take an M, which will be a pointer to testing.m. And then this function then becomes responsible for running all of the tests within our suite. Now, the way that we can run the tests is by doing exit code and m.run. Now, this will be responsible for running all of the tests within our package or application and then returning the exit code. So if the tests pass, then we should get exit code zero. If they fail, we should get exit code one. Next, we want to call os.exit and use the exit code. Now, the reason this line is important is the test command needs to know what exit code to return with. If we didn't have this, then the test command would return a zero status code, and that would just look like the test had all passed, when in reality, that may not necessarily be the case. Cool. So the next thing we want to do is to move all of our setup code out of our test functions. And we'll start by moving the resty client up into a global variable. And then we can remove this setup code on line 21 and move it to just before we call m.run here. And perfect. Now let's ensure we've not broken anything and run this in verbose mode. And as you can see, our tests are running as we expect them to. We've been able to send the HTTP GET request and do the assertions based on the results. Now, obviously this is quite a small example for the purposes of this video, but in more production-like environments, you might find yourself wanting to instantiate database clients or do some more involved test setup before your entire suite of tests runs. Cool. So that's all we're going to cover within this video. Now, just to recap, we've looked at how we can use the test main function to improve the way that we write our tests by extracting things like test setup logic, such as the instantiation of clients and allowing our test to be more focused on the logic itself. So as always, folks, if you found this useful, then feel free to let me know in the comments section down below or leave a like on this video. And please subscribe to my channel for more Go programming content. Cheers.